Hello, I've got a collective haul for you guys. Just a bunch of little things that I've purchased here and there. And it's not really enough to do individually, so I'm just going to do it all together. So first up is um, a haul from Simon Says Stamp. I just ordered one thing from there, but I thought I would share this coupon code with you in case you want to place an order with them. Um, I ordered this ice cream. I saw someone on Instagram use this. This die, in my opinion, pretty overpriced. It was $20.00 plus shipping. Um, I did order it during their 15% off sale, but still, <laughs> it's a lot. Um, but I love it so much I had to have it. So it's called the Soft Serve Cone, and it's a Simon Says Stamp die. And it comes with the layering pieces to create sort of a vintage looking soft serve cone. So it's got the cone piece here, and then this layers on top, and then you've got your base ice cream, and then these two pieces layer on here. And it looks absolutely adorable. So I absolutely had to get that. Um, especially since I keep buying summer collections like I do a lot of summer crafting. Which I don't. I almost never do any summer crafting. Yet I keep buying summer collections. So I guess I'm going to do some summer crafting this year. Um, I placed this order on Shein. Uh, this I posted a link on my Instagram page. I'll post it below here if there are any left. When I was on there this morning, there were only two left. So um, by the time I get this video uploaded, there may not be any. I don't know. Um, so check my Instagram often. I try to share things in my stories there in real time. Uh, a lot of these videos I film for YouTube, I don't post them until a couple weeks later. So um, just because it takes a long time to upload the videos. So <clears throat> anyways, um, I ordered these. They are these little tent charms. I have been looking for some circus themed enamel charms for what feels like eternity to go with carousel. And these just popped up in my feed on Shein. I couldn't believe it. Um, there are 10 here. They're gold. They're pink and yellow enamel. And I think they'll go really cute with um, carousel. And I have a couple other circus collections that I think they will go with too. So there are 10 in the pack. I ordered four packs uh, because I don't want to run out and I have never found these anywhere else. And I've looked since I ordered these on Shein and I haven't found them on any other website either. So like I said, I ordered four of these. So super cute. Um, I ordered these camera charms. I thought these were really cute. And I was using... Um, collection was I using? I was using Marigold and there is a camera in Marigold that sort of reminded me of this one. So I picked up these little cameras. I thought they were super cute. There's I think maybe eight in here. I don't think there's ten. I think there's eight. And um, I got them in this gold back color and then I ordered these ones uh, and these have black on the back. And these are kind of a green color and um, I thought this would be the exact green of the Marigold collection. It's kind of a greenish teal dark color. So I thought those are really cute and that they would go well with that collection. Okay, so I ordered those. I ordered a Boo die. This is just a layered Boo word die. And then um, I also ordered these charms which are acrylic charms. I don't usually order acrylic charms, but I thought these are really cute and um, they are printed really well. Um, in fact, it's like almost embossed on the front. And I got these to go with the Frank Garcia Prima Halloween collections. Um, I thought the colors worked really well with that. So I picked these up. They have a hole in the top already, so I can just add the jump ring. And I think there's 10 in there. And so that was my Shein haul. That's all I ordered from them. <coughs> Then on um, Instagram, there was a seller de-stashing some stuff. And I just, she had them, these dies really cheap. I think it was like $2 each. So I picked up this typewriter one. Um, it looks like it'd be pretty easy to put together. I think you guys have heard me say many times. Um, if it's really complicated, I don't, I'm not very likely to actually use it. So I try to pick things with minimal amount of pieces. And then I picked up this one. Um, this is a rainbow die and it layers on top. So you just cut it out in different colors and then layer them on top. And I have an idea project in mind for this. So I got this die um, with a specific thing in mind that I want to create. So stay tuned. 
Okay, then I placed an order online at Hobby Lobby, and I've never ordered online from them before. Um, I usually just go to the store. But I was super busy um, the week that they were having the sale, and I wasn't going to make it to Hobby Lobby. So I decided to go ahead and order online because the sale was really good. It, they had a great sale on these buttons. So um, <clears throat> buttons, I think, anywhere from, you know, zero to... 350 were marked down um, for, to 99 cents. And then anything over that, it was marked down to $1.99. And um, I have been using a ton of buttons in my collections lately. Um, buttons Galore and Morris sent me a bunch of buttons and I've been buying buttons. And I just like the way they look. It just makes everything cute. So I wanted to definitely take advantage of the sale. And since I wasn't going to make it there, I decided to order online. So um, this is what I ordered, um, and like I said, this was a great deal. I saved a ton of money on these buttons. So uh, this is the mini buttons, and they are red, white, and then red and white polka dot. And there are 60 pieces in here, and I got these for a dollar. Um, <clears throat> this is the size I've been looking for. I want some tiny buttons, teeny tiny, um, because a lot of the embellishments I make are very small, and I just want a little button on there to add. These also make really great buttons on gingerbread men. So Christmas crafting is going to be coming up pretty soon for me. I craft um, Halloween and Christmas over the summertime. Um, because I'm a teacher, I'm off work, so I've got time to craft then. And um, so I'm gonna, I'm thinking Christmas, you know. <laughs> so um, I definitely picked these up. I thought they were so cute. I also picked up the black and white ones, which will be great for Halloween crafting. Uh, I picked up these polka dot ones and well, they're polka dot stripes and then they have flowers as well. And there are 28 pieces in here and this is like a dark teal color. And I picked those up in the pink and it shows a lot of white, but it's just because the buttons are flipped. So um, they're all pink in there. And I picked up the red. Super duper cute. And I think that's it for that. I picked up these uh, polka dot buttons. These were... Um, 12 pieces and these were $3.99 so they were $1.99 but I I have looked online and I have not been able to find polka dot plaid or striped buttons on any of the places I normally look for that kind of stuff so I definitely wanted to grab these and somebody some youtuber and I don't remember who it was I don't remember if it was strawberry cream or who somebody ordered, bought these and hauled them. And so then I was like, oh, they're having a button sale. That's how I knew. So thank you, YouTuber. Strawberry cream, if it was you, thank you. <laughs> if it was somebody else, thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, I picked up these plaid buttons. You get 30 pieces in here. And then um, I picked up these striped buttons. I got these to go with um, Carousel collection. I thought, and Halloween really, would be really cute. And I picked up these flower buttons. I thought those were cute. And then I picked up these big packs of buttons. So these are, um, <clears throat> they have 300 pieces in here. They are nine millimeter buttons and um, they have all different colors. And I got these for $1.99 instead of $7. So definitely a good deal. Um, and they have all different colors, about three different packs of these. And these are smaller. They're not teeny tiny, but they're definitely smaller than the other buttons I have in my collection. So I picked up all those. So I'm set on buttons uh, with, um, I just got a Buttons Galore More design team package. I ordered these and then I also ordered more stuff from B Buttons Galore More. So you guys are going to be seeing buttons on everything I make. Uh, the only other thing I picked up from Hobby Lobby was this tissue paper. It's just polka dot H8 count. I haven't seen this at my store and I thought it was really cute. So I just picked it up and threw it in there um, in the package. So it wasn't going to add anything to the shipping because it's so lightweight. Um, then I have a, uh, a de-stash here from Instagram. Somebody was de-stashing this whole collection. It's called uh, Santorini. I don't, I don't remember this coming out. It's not very old, 2017, um, but I have no recollection of this coming out. It's a Frank Garcia Prima collection. Um, I thought it was really pretty. It's not my typical style. Um, there's a lot of vintage uh, roses, florals in here, a lot of pastel. Um, that's not usually something I gravitate towards. I'm more of a bright color geometric um, shapes, but there is a navy blue and white stripe in this collection that I think just makes the whole collection. It ties it all together and it makes it something that sort of fits my personality. So 
she had this marked really inexpensive. Um, and then I think she was doing a sale on top of that. And so I decided to just go ahead and get it. Again, I don't even really do that much summer crafting, but I have been buying tons of summer collections. So apparently I am going to be doing some summer crafting. So this is the stripe I was talking about. It's really pretty. It's like a navy blue. And then it has this ledger paper in the white stripe. It's super cute. Uh, so really pretty. Um, I'm going to show you the B side first, I guess, and then I'll flip it over and show you the other side. Um, it's got this pretty floral here. Uh, this is really pretty. It's very Maggie Holmes-esque. Um, it's green and white flowers with some ledger paper in the background. And this is really nice thick paper, so that's good. Um, then it's got this kind of, um, I don't know, like paint swatches, I guess, is what I would call it. Um, it's got this marble. I am not a fan of marble prints, so I won't be using this side. Um, I don't know why. They're just not my thing. Um, this floral print, I, I don't really see myself using this, um, but we'll see. Um, it reminds me of wallpaper. And of course, you get several sheets of each page. Um, and then we've got this floral. Um, this one's... Uh, I like this one better than the other one, so I might use this one. We'll see. All right, so that's the B side, and then the A side are these cut-aparts, and um, I like about half of these, so I don't know if I would have bought this collection full price, but because it was so inexpensive and I can kind of pick and choose what I like from the collection, it seemed like it was worth it to me. Um, this girl's super cute. She's um, in the collection a lot of times, and then you have these buildings, which are fun. This little surfer girl is kind of cute. Um, <clears throat> so that's the first cut apart sheet. Um, I really like this one. I like this a lot. I like this tag. Of course, the girl's super cute. This is good. I don't know if I'll use this. I'm not a big fan of this um, font that they've used, personally. Um, this one looks like a wedding to me. Uh, maybe that's what this is for. It might be like a beach wedding. Um, but uh, I, I could probably use some pieces of this, I think. Um, and then same thing here. Florals with a bunch of writing. Uh, this is like some strips. And I think I could definitely use some of these strips for sure. I like this one a lot. Um, I like this palm leaves. <clears throat> That's really cute. I like the words on this one. So I definitely think I could use some of those. And then um, this is the last cut apart. And, um, you know, there's some of this that I like and some of it I could live without. But this is the side with the stripes. So I'm probably just using the stripes, to be honest. Okay, so that's the pattern paper pad. This is the A4 pad. And then it came with these puffy stickers. Honestly, the um, stickers and the chipboard is what sold me on the collection. Um, these are super duper cute. Although, I'm not sure if these colors really match. They seem kind of like um, neon, vibrant colors. Whereas the paper pad is kind of pastel. So I'm not sure how that's going to work together. But um, the stickers themselves are super duper cute. Um, and it came with these chipboard stickers. And all of these are really cute. I love this tag. This is cute. Um, I like the amper stand and, um, of course these are all adorable. I like this sailboat a lot. That's really cute. And the hat and the bus, <clears throat> the flamingos. And then here is another sheet. Um, so that's really cute. <clears throat> it also came with um, these journaling note cards, there are 45 sheets in here. Let me see if I can cut this open real quick. Okay, and um, <clears throat> let's see here. So it's got all the flo this floral pattern on the back of every sheet. And then it's just got more of these pattern paper sort of note cards. So it's really cute. I'm, I'm excited to try this out and see uh, what I can make with it. I think it'll be fun to try kind of a more sophisticated summer collection. It also came with these smaller journaling note cards. I think these are the same. They have the same patterns. They're just smaller scale. Um, 
So really pretty. They got the floral on the back, um, but it's all the same patterns. So those are cute. And then it came with these stick, these uh, tickets, which I really liked. I thought these were adorable. I think I've said this before, but I wish all collections came with tickets because they're just so useful in crafting. Um, so it's got a couple different designs here. Let's go for a swim. There is a little um, moped with flowers there. This one says love note and love this. This one has these cute flamingos and be free. And then these are more of the other ones we've already looked at. So there's a bunch in here. It comes with 36 pieces. Um, and so those are super cute. And they've got some, it's kind of like a blue uh, foiling on it. Okay. And then the last thing that came with the collection was this washi tape. And it's got all the different washies in there. Um, this is like the paint strokes, the floral, a stripe, and then a blue glitter in there. So again, I thought that would be kind of fun to try out something different. Um, something that's not um, necessarily my go-to collection. I think it'd be fun to, you know, stretch my creativity. Okay, so I hope you guys are having a great day. That's my haul. I hope um, I will see you uh, soon in the next video and uh, take care and uh, bye for now. All right, bye.